Watching today's winners and losers on Wall Street with our financial expert Rob Black oh and a big God. news with the S&P 500 today, a breaking over the 1900 mark for the first time ever. Well, the, yeah. um, <laughs> I've been saying it for a long time. You want to be in this market. Record highs are nice. Dow hits record highs. Dow Transport hits record highs. Um, you, you have to pay or you have to play in order to get the big payoff. S&P 500 isn't rigged against you. It isn't rigged for, you know, investors. It's a reflection of companies like Apple, companies like Microsoft, companies like General Electric and Boeing. Um, and these are companies that work off capitalism. They tend to have a bottom line of profits. Are they the nicest social companies in the world? Probably not. But I want you to have enough money in retirement. And the number one way, you're looking at it. It's the NASDAQ, it's the S&P, it's investing in capitalism. So buying tracking funds is a good way to go then, you think, in your it's, retirement yeah. accounts for the S&P? Because, I mean, in our lifetimes, we're probably going to see the S&P, we would think, right, five, six, seven thousand. 7,000? Yes. Um, I think the markets tend to double every 7.2 years. Okay. So you want that exposure. One dollar will become two, will become four, will become eight, which will become 16. So to add a couple zeros to that, and you can see how $10 will become $16,000. Um, be a long-term patient investor, invest in capitalism, and my job can go away if you stop buying stocks and you just buy exchange-traded funds. That's the way to go. Oh, interesting. Thank you. And, uh, you know, uh, retail sales such a big part of our U.S. economy, and they were pretty awful uh, for the month of April. We were kind of hoping for a rebound here. Yeah, March was great. Yeah. And we're talking about, you know, cold weather, no longer an excuse. The retail sales numbers came out were bad. In Wall Street terms, it's good because markets are hitting highs based on lower interest rates. Um, Americans are we're trying to become less of a consumer, but we, we really aren't losing that yet. Uh, retail sales barely edged up in April. This is a bad sign. Uh, retail sales account for one third of consumer spending. So we're not gonna have robust GDP numbers and lack of robust GDP numbers should probably equal, again, low cost of money, lower interest rates, and uh, there's a positive, but there's also a negative in all economic news. There's no right, there's just compromise. Okay, now Fannie and Freddie finally changing some of the rules. You know, a lot of us felt like trying to get a mortgage was too easy before, and now it's been too difficult, and do you think Fannie and Freddie are finally going to make it just right? They're trying to get there. Okay. Um, this is history repeating itself, where you make the standards too loose and you get into trouble, you make the standards too tough and you get into trouble because not enough people are lending. The housing market has really stagnated across the United States in the past three to four months. The government confirmed, uh, the government controlled firms, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, are going to make it a little bit easier for banks to lend. They're willing to ensure some, you know, not perfect um, credit scores. So they're willing to take debt away from the lenders. Say you go to Bank of America to get a loan, they're willing to take that from them. They're not lowering their standards. Uh, they're not lowering their, their, their total dollars to bring it in. So um, that should help the housing market. And again, it'll lead more a loose policy. It, it will hurt down the road if they become too loose. But right now, this is, seems like a step in the right direction. Okay, good. And we're talking about Beats and the expensive headphones and their music service. They've been in the news a lot lately with uh, rumors of an Apple acquisition for over $3 billion. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are freaked out by this because yeah. Beats music service probably has less than 11,000 total users. Compare that to Spotify, who have 25 million active accounts. Um, so Beats, it's going to have to move in the right direction, and it will. Um, Apple getting behind them, they're getting behind a great brand with young people. Apple is no longer cool. They've lost their coolness with young people so they're buying coolness with young people and it's wearable technology we keep talking about a, a apple watch or google glass on the eyes headphones are wearable technology so they're getting a lot of ip they're getting a lot of management with this as well so. okay yeah a lot of people are scratching their heads about this deal but i guess you can buy coolness for 3.2 billion dollars <laughs> That's the idea. Okay, so, thank you, Rob. Dr. Dre is pretty cool. Yeah, he is Dr. Dre, and he's a doctor. Uh, and if you have a question for Rob, you can post it on his Facebook fan page, and we'll answer it here on Cron 4. We'll be right back.